dear participants, thank you very much for the invitation and the possibility to share my thoughts with you on the situation of young Roma in Europe, an issue which is far too often neglected by policymakers, despite having crucial importance, at least for two reasons. First, the general age of Roma communities are significantly lower compared to the majority throughout Europe and in several member states, some 16 to 20 percent of all newborn babies are Roma. This means that the proportion of youngsters among Roma is considerably higher. The second reason, due to the long-standing poverty affecting their communities and the economic crisis, the vast majority of them have limited or no job opportunities at all. Being unemployed at a young age has a long-lasting negative impact on both future income levels and future risk of unemployment, not to mention the multitude of challenges that are linked to the exclusion, alienation and the failed efforts in building an independent life. However, if we could enable young Roma to fulfill their potential to participate actively at local, regional, national and European level, it would not only be an essential factor for the achievement of greater social inclusion, but also for the sound, sustainable and democratic development of Roma communities themselves. Roma inclusion policies, both at the European and at the national level, must therefore place a strong emphasis on providing with real, tangible opportunities for, for young Roma that enable them to avoid a long and harmful absence from the labour market, preserve and enhance their human capital, maintain their employment and career prospects in the long run, as well as increase their earnings potential. In addition, this would also mean an increase in consumption, consequently in aggregating demand and indirectly in economic performance as well. It must be noted, however, that despite the economic crisis and the dismantling of working places, there are over 2 million unfulfilled vacancies in the EU, often because there are no workers with the required skills in the local job market. Furthermore, according to estimates, sector, sectors with important job creation potential, such as the green economy or healthcare or info communication, they would require an increasing number of qualified workers in the coming years. Complementing the formal education system, extensive vocational education and training is necessary to acquire the cross-cutting skills that are most sought after in the labour market today. Vocational education is more closely linked to the labour market than other sectors of the education and training systems. But the potential of work-based learning and in particular apprenticeship to tackle youth unemployment remains to be fully exploited in many countries still. While unemployment is caused by many factors, part of the solution may be found in high-quality vocational education and training system, which highly qualified teachers and trainers are involved, innovative learning methods are introduced, high-quality infrastructure and facilities, a high labor market relevance and pathways to further education and training are provided. Many European countries, typically those with a high Roma population, have failed to implement on-the-job training opportunities and as a result many individuals leave jobs, including public employment, without any additional skills from when they began working, keeping individuals stuck at the same level. Vocational training must therefore not only be easily accessible and career-oriented, but must also incorporate a strong focus on work-based learning to facilitate the transition of young Roma to the workplace. Thank you very much for your attention and please let me wish you a fruitful conference.